For more than 150 years, Greenwood Cemetery has been the final resting place for many notable New Yorkers. Artist Jean-Michel Basquiat is buried here. So is Charles Feltman, creator of one of our most iconic foods, the hot dog. Opened in 1838, Greenwood has thousands of trees shading miles of rolling hills. It's peaceful, beautiful, and expansive. 478 acres. It's actually so large, it spans six different neighborhoods in Brooklyn. We're at the highest point in the borough. This serene setting is probably the last place you'd expect to find a concert series. But Greenwood plays host to unique classical music performances. So popular, they sell out in minutes. Death of Classical is the creative genius of Andrew Owsley, who oddly enough came up with the idea to celebrate life. People often ask me why we do these shows, and it's not because I have some morbid obsession with death and the macabre. It's really because when you're in spaces like this, you can't help but think about the shortness and the preciousness of life. Catacomb concerts may seem strange, but they're an idea that's clearly caught on. So what exactly is a catacomb? It's a subterranean space where bodies can be buried and families are buried in vaults or tombs where the entire family is interred. A catacomb was a more affordable way to not be buried in the ground which was a very real concern in those days because people would often be buried alive. So people would buy catacombs so that they could kick their way out if they in fact had not passed away. So in this kind of a scenario, all these people would have been related? Yes. Okay. Family plots. And literally each of these is a person. Yeah. And there is something that seems like it's a little scary about a catacomb, but once I'm in it, I'm not feeling that way. No, it's you know? a beautiful space. Yeah, it's I feel a space okay. of, of peace and, and beauty. This catacomb welcomes a variety of artists. There are quartets, violinists, and singers with hauntingly beautiful voices like Daisy Press. The musicians who participate are carefully chosen. You're in incredibly close proximity to the audiences, both physically and sort of emotionally, the connection you have with them. So it requires musicians who are open to that kind of work. Each concert starts with sunset cocktails before a quiet and contemplative stroll through Greenwood's historic winding pathways. The walk ends at the door to the catacombs, dramatically lit, and bathed in red light. Catacombs are relics from a bygone era. It seems the more we learned about death, the more obsolete they became. Gabrielle Gatto is Greenwood's coordinator of public programs. There are 30 vaults in our catacombs, and each one has a different font bearing their name or a different setup in their room. And I think that also speaks to the individuality that happens in memorialization and death, but also coming together in this uh, communal unified space. And while it's common to find flowers by a tombstone, it's rare to see them placed inside a catacomb. The flowers, if I may be so bold to say, is really the attendees of our concerts that we have in here. They're the ones that adorn the hallways and, and pay tribute and visit to the, all that are entombed here. So the next time you pass by Greenwood Cemetery, think of it as more than just a burial ground. It's also a place where death of classical is alive and well. Crystal Young, Fox 5 News.